So, uh, hi, I'm Galagelli and I'm talking on behalf of uh, the third Cloudy Workshop group members, which are listed here. And we named our project uh, CADO, so Cloudy plus Alma Diagnostic for the Early Universe. And we indeed simulated a high redshift star forming environment in order to provide useful, useful diagnostic line ratios and diagrams to measure cloud properties like the metallicity or the density. So indeed we considered a redshift seven environment and we use BPAS stellar models to simulate a 200 million of years old stellar population. And then we use the cloudy to derive the luminosities of different far infrared lines, like uh, for instance, uh, the ionized hydrogen, uh, oxygen, nitrogen, and uh, carbon. And now Fabian will go into the details of our results. So I'll change slide. It's not changing slide, is it? Um, it's still the first one. Now? Yeah. So, okay, yeah, sorry. all the results. Okay. And we follow a paper by Pereira and Santella, 2017, and compute a grid of models with different metallicities, densities, and ionization parameters to search for correlations with the different line ratios. In the left panel, you see how different oxygen to nitrogen ratios vary with metallicity and um, while there is some trend, the scatter that is introduced by the different ionization parameters and densities makes it impossible to use this line ratio to derive metallicities. On the other hand, on the right panel, you see a much clearer trend for the density and the oxygen 352 micron to oxygen 388 micron ratio. And over a wide range of different metallicities and ionization parameters, we find a clear correlation between them. So this ratio should be a good proxy for the density. And Manuel? Yeah, thanks. Uh, so this is another example of, uh, of, of what we got from the models. In the lower left panel, you can see the, the grid points uh, of, the, of one of the, of the models with a fixed ionization parameter. So the darker lines means higher metallicity and the bigger circles means higher density. And in the upper left panel, you, we are plotting the ratio of nitrogen lines, the nitrogen uh, one to two and two to five microns. And we see it's a good proxy of density as well. And as it doesn't depend too much on metallicity. Now back on the, the lower right panel, we have this other ratio, the O1 to C plus ratio, uh, which is very sensitive to metallicity. So if we combine the two in the upper right panel, uh, we see um, a region that these two line ratios could be used as diagnostics to get metallicity and density uh, of a, a given cloud if, if we know the ionization parameter. And this will potentially be useful for studies of high redshift with ALMA. And we finally want to say thank you to Gary and Patrice for all the guidance. Thank you. Thank you.